Hi, it's Sway. I'll be sharing with you my current Heelbot configuration and layout in this video. First off, let me start by saying that this is my first WoW related video that I've produced, and that the quality and content may not be the best, but I do hope to improve over time and release future videos, so I'll be treating this video as somewhat of an icebreaker. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's look at the visual appearance of my configuration. A few things that you should note is the grid style layout, that I have the bars colored by class, and that the group headers are visible in the actual position and size of Heelbot itself. I have Heelbot set to a 5x5 configuration for 25 man raids, and a 2x5 for 10 mans. I use this grid like layout to reduce the distance my mouse has to travel to reach the next heel target, and preserve as much of my screen real estate as possible. The bars are colored by class to reduce the time it takes for me to find a named target or a target of known class. For example, if I'm asked to heal the guild's main tank, I know that he's a paladin. I'm able to narrow in on him much faster on Heelbot knowing that he can only be one of the pink bars. Along with that, though you may not be able to tell from the video and the screenshots, the bars are arranged by maximum health. So the player with the highest health in a particular group will be at the top of that column, helping put tanks in easy to find location. The group headers are shown so that I know who's in what group, and for when the raid leader asks a group to perform a certain action, I know who's doing what. I tried to make sure that the Heelbot frame itself is as small as possible without making the bars too small to clearly see, and in a central location but still out of my main viewing area. Next, let's look at some of my actual settings. First, I have the options button hidden to reduce Heelbot's size and its position locked in place. My spells are bound to the keys based off how often I use the spell. As a Resto Shaman, my main spell is Chain Heal, and I keep it bound to left click. This works well with the mouse I have. Since it has macro support, I'm able to force spam the left mouse key even when it's just being held down. So in other words, during heavy, simply hold the left mouse button down and will constantly cast Chain Heal on my mouse over target. I bind the rest of my keys based off usage. For me, next is Healing Wave. Bound to right click, riptide, middle click, and repeat it for all my other spells with the addition of a key modifier such as shift or control. I have smart cast disabled though, as I see it more of a nuisance than anything when out of combat. I also have Healbot set to make a sound anytime a debuff is put on a raid member along with changing the affected player's health bar color. Though I do have Healbot set to show all shaman buffs, I have it set to only show the stack count and duration of my own spells, such as Earth Shield and Riptide. This lets me know what players have other shaman shields currently on them and keeps me from overriding theirs. I keep tooltips disabled since I know my keybinds by heart though. This also saves on screen real estate when mousing over target frames. It's important to note that Healbot can trigger trinkets for you anytime you cast a spell or hit a certain key. This is great if you have mana on use or spell power on use trinkets that you would like to be constantly triggered or triggered with the use of a specific spell. I also have Healbot configured to show aggro, so when a player is either tanking or is pulling aggro, I can be prepared to heal them before they even take damage. The last setting I'm going to go over is an adjustable alert level, which keeps players at a preset percent of health greater than or equal to that amount slightly grayed out. I have mine set to 97%, since Druid Hots, Healing Totems, and many other spells can heal such small health deficits without the player being directly healed. If you have any questions about my Healbot configuration or would like me to share it with you, just send me a whisper. I'll also do what I can to attach an actual copy of the configuration itself to this post.